A farmer bought a number of pigs for $168. However, three of them died before he could sell the rest at a profit of seven per pig. His total profit was $126. How many pigs did he originally buy? First thing I like to do with a word problem is set a variable for what we're trying to find. So we're going to let P be the number he originally bought. All right, and in this problem, we're talking about profit, so it's good to know that profit is revenue minus cost. And that revenue is the amount sold times the price that it was sold at. Okay, so in um, this scenario, he paid $168 for all of the pigs. So if we wanted to know how much each pig cost, then the cost of one pig would be 168 divided by P. And in our revenue equation, um, it's amount sold. Well, the number that he sold would be however many he had to start with, minus three, because three of them died. And then the price, well, we know that he sold at each one at a profit of $7. So it's whatever he paid, which is 168 over P plus seven. That's gonna equal our revenue I mean our profit, no, yeah, our revenue. And our revenue, um, we want that to equal a number. We don't want another variable, but we can do that because we know that his total profit was 126 and that the cost um, was 168. So to solve for revenue, you would just add 168 and 126. So it would be 126 plus 168. So revenue is going to equal profit um, plus the cost. All right, so 126 plus 168 is 294. And if we FOIL the right side, we're going to get 168 plus 7P minus 504 over P minus 21. Now the variable, we have one variable here in the denominator and we don't want that so we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by P to get the P out of the denominator. So we get 294 P equals 168 P plus 7 P squared minus 504 minus 21p. We can combine like terms, 168 minus 21 is 147. So 294p equals 147p plus 7p squared minus 504. Now we have a quadratic function or equation, and in order to solve that, we need to set one side equal to zero. So I'm going to subtract this 294p from both sides because that would be the easiest way to, to do that. And after I do that, I get zero on one side. And on the other side, um, I'm going to get 7p squared and then 147 minus 294 is a minus 147p and then we have plus, um, no, minus 504. I need the eraser. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> well, plus a negative 504 then.
All right. And uh, you can try factoring it, but probably the easiest thing to do with numbers this big is just to use the quadratic formula. So P is going to equal negative B, which is positive 147, plus or minus B squared, which would be 147 squared, minus 4 times A, which is 7, and B, which is negative, or C, which is negative 504. And that's all over 2 times a, which is 7. So let's figure out what the inside of the square root is going to be. So in the calculator, you do 147 squared. And we're going to do minus a, a 4 times 7 times minus negative 504. So make sure that you put a negative in the 504 and not minus. And when I do that, I get 35,721. And then 2 times 7 is 14. Let's see if I can make this a little clearer. 3, 5, and 7. All right, if we take the square root of that, it's 189. So we have 147 plus or minus 189 over 14. So if I do 147 plus 189 and divide that by 14, I get 24. So one answer for P is 24. And then if I subtract 189 and divide that by 14, I get minus 3. So it doesn't make sense that he bought negative three pigs. It must be that he bought originally 24 pigs. And you can always plug it back into the scenario and check that it makes sense.